it's just gotten to be too much. Like a glazed donut. I'm not enough. Hi friends, welcome back. Let's chat a little. Let's get ready. So let's chat while I do my makeup. As you guys can see, I have braids in my hair and I'm not gonna lie, it's taking some time to get used to. I just did them yesterday, so it's not, I haven't had them on for long enough to, you know, to really feel them out. I've just been having this like itch to literally chop off all my hair <laughs> and every time I keep, I say that people are like, why? But honestly, I'm just over my hair. I'm just, I think it's because it's summertime and I just need my hair out of my face. I just used the e.l.f. Putty Primer, by the way, and now I'm gonna be using a little bit of my L'Oreal foundation, just a tad bit, because it's a hot day today. But yeah, I can't lie about mm, not feeling guilty of wanting to chop off all my hair because you know, I create content around my hair and beauty related and fashion and all that stuff. So my hair does play a big role in what I do, but I'm just over my hair. Like having curly hair is a full-time job, literally a full-time job. And I'm kind of over it. So, I'm, so I was like, let me just do some braids so I can like calm myself down before I do something drastic like cut my hair super short. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the natural hair community can tend to sometimes be a little like judgmental. And what I mean by that is, like as soon as I say, oh, like I'm tired of my hair or I, I kind of want to straighten my hair or whatever, you automatically get judged. You're automatically, it's like, girl, you should appreciate all that hair that you have. You have so much hair and it's so long and it's all of this. And trust me, I do appreciate it because I've worked hard to kind of grow my hair as long as I have and to, to maintain the health of it. But it's just gotten to be too much. I hope you guys don't take this as I'm just complaining about having the type of hair that I have because that's definitely not the case whatsoever. I love having curly hair and it's like diversities. Like I love how I'm able to do one thing one day and then the, the, another day something completely different. And when summer, I mean fall and winter come, like I'm not gonna feel guilty for wanting to straighten my hair. I've been seeing things, you know, on Instagram and like YouTube talking about how the natural hair community has become toxic. And I think it's that we are toxic to each other. Like we don't allow one another to experiment on different hairstyles and it's like, it's like taboo when you say, like if one day you're like, ugh, I'm over my hair. Or, and it's kind of the same with also when it comes to the type of products that you use. Like I feel like the natural hair community beats you up for not using curly girl product, curly girl friendly products. And it's like, girl, like, is it really that serious? I know I'm probably rambling too much and not making much sense but i think moral of the story is don't bash someone for not doing what you would do you know what i mean like at the end of the day i look at it as it's hair <laughs> and it's not that serious also i just realized i haven't been even telling you what products i'm using but i'll have everything in the in the description I really wanted to do knotless braids and my mom and I started doing it and then we realized like this is gonna take 18,000 years because we were gonna do it ourselves. I bought the hair so we can you know add a little bit of hair not much because my hair that was like what I was worried about the most is my my hair feeling too heavy um so we started it and we're like uh I don't know 
we're gonna do this so we settled on this my mom was the one that actually did this which i'm very grateful for and i think she did a really good job and um we didn't add any hair this is just my hair but what i did do was that i blew it out so that it is easier for her to um to handle the only thing that i don't think i liked so much is how thick they are and i guess that just that has to do with the amount of hair i have i have a lot of hair so i think if we would have done less i mean more braids it wouldn't look as bulky but it was our first time and i think she did a great job nonetheless so i'm actually getting ready because my husband's off from work today and we both have been wanting birkenstocks so we're gonna actually do that today and i figured that i would take you guys along with me so yeah that's what i'm getting ready for and then whatever we end up doing i of course will take you guys along so yeah that's pretty much it for my makeup i'm just adding a bit of light of um liner and then i just blend it out with my finger so that it can so that it can look a little bit more natural so yeah thank you for listening to my rant um yeah the, these braids i had to do my makeup today just to see how you know if i really like them i don't know if i want to wear them both like all four forward or back or like half forward and the other back i'm just playing around with it hopefully we get used to them because I do want to experiment a little bit more with different types of braids. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. We decided to stop to get some boba. I haven't had bubble tea in ages, so I think that's fine. Yep. just getting home and the first thing that I have to have to do is always take off my makeup so I figured I'd show you guys my skincare routine first thing I do is put on my little wrist thingies these things are genius because it catches all the water as I'm washing my face so lately I've been using two cleansers to um, remove my makeup it's either the verse cleansing balm or the purity cleanser this thing is amazing at removing my makeup i don't have much makeup on today so we're gonna go with the philosophy this thing is so good at removing every trace of makeup that i have but it's very gentle at the same time i always double cleanse so i'm gonna be using my cerave foaming facial cleanser i always pat my face dry with a paper towel, never an actual towel, towel because that holds so much more bacteria than you think. First thing I use is a toner and this is not one of those like cleansing toners or like acidic toners that are meant to cleanse your skin. This is just for hydration. So I let that sink in a little bit and then I apply another layer of that toner once it dries a little. So once I do two layers of that, then I take my essence. This is a snail essence. It's a little bit thicker than a toner. So it just provides more hydration. I've been following a Korean skincare routine for a few years now and this is when i've noticed very significant change in my skin and i think it's because they're all about hydration they're all about hydrating the skin 
and the more hydrated your skin is, the less likely it is to, you know, have crazy acne, or if you do get acne, you don't see as much scarring. My next step is some sort of serum or something that's more concentrated, whether that's like niacinamide or hyaluronic acid. This time I'm using, um, no, wrong one, a peptide serum. This is from The Ordinary. I love this thing. So I just take one full drop and just distribute it. Once that fully sinks in, I go in with my moisturizer and keep in mind I wait until every single layer that I'm putting on sinks in before I put on the next just to make sure that my skin absorbed whatever I just put on and I take this moisturizer right under my eyes sometimes I use eye cream sometimes not it just varies last step is an oil and this is what like creates that last layer to make sure everything that I applied underneath stays there so it doesn't rub up on my pillow or anything like that. I'm going to be using a marula oil today. And that's what I've been using for the summer just because it's a little bit lighter. During the winter times, during the winter months, I usually use argan oil. It's a little bit thicker, but for the winter, it's perfect. Another drop of the oil and I just apply it all over my neck. Please never neglect the neck area because that's where you start seeing the first signs of aging. And then also I take another drop all over my hands. Like I go to sleep like a glazed donut from head to toe. Good morning. It is the next day. Um, I figured I would continue this vlog because what I got yesterday was not going to be enough. I'm actually headed to yoga. It's my first time um, doing an actual yoga. No, that's a lie. I did do hot yoga, maybe like it was before the pandemic, but I think I only took like two or three classes. But I've been wanting to do, sorry. I've been wanting to do something different rather than going to the gym because I'm getting tired and I'm getting bored of the gym because it's the same routine over and over again. Don't get me wrong, I love getting a good pump, but I hurt my shoulder a few months back and I can't work out the way I would normally want to or as hard as I would want to. So I'm trying something new. You know one thing I'm looking forward to is making a friend, making some new friends because I think because I'm home all day, every single day, it's hard for me to meet people and I guess this is a great way to meet new people because at the gym is different everyone has their headphones in everyone's there to just get shit done type of thing so I'm kind of excited for this so I'll see you guys in a little bit I'm just driving there now and hopefully I can record like hopefully I can film while I'm there um yeah so we'll see. That was so good. Listen, yoga is not as easy as I remember it to be. <laughs> I don't know why I always associated yoga with like, oh, it's like for old people kind of thing. But you actually get a really good workout. I'm so happy that I did this because I needed something new. I needed a change of scenery. So I booked 20 classes. So I'm hoping that, you know, I get into the rhythm of it. I kind of want to substitute two of my gym days out of the week with yoga so we'll see but that was so good very relaxing and very like puts you very in tune with yourself but I'm starving let's go home to make a shake let's chat while we have my shake because I got a lot on my mind and I kind of just want to vent a little bit 
so i wanted to talk about how lately i've been feeling like i'm not enough and it's not that i feel like i'm not enough in like a in a sad way i don't know if that makes sense it's more of like i don't feel like i'm doing enough i don't feel like i am where i would i expected myself to be at this point in my life or just in my career like I, there's just so much that i thought i would have accomplished by now and i haven't and lately i've been beating myself up about it so so much and comparing myself to other creators and listen comparing yourself is seriously the absolute worst thing that you can do so i don't know why i'm doing that and at the same time i'm comparing myself to people that have been doing this for years and years and years on end i started content creating like consistently it's been about a year less than a year actually so i don't know why i just thought that growth was gonna happen overnight with instagram it was a lot easier to grow i felt like i grew pretty fast with youtube it's been a little bit different and honestly that's been my fault that's just been i haven't been consistent on here so that 100 percent lands on me and i had set myself that goal of reaching a thousand subscribers and i was like waiting and waiting once i reached the thousand subscribers i kept downplaying it for myself i was just like hmm it's only a thousand is it really that serious is it really that much and i kept like i don't know how to celebrate myself if that makes sense like i set that goal for myself to reach a thousand subscribers and once i did it felt like nothing like it just felt like okay i gotta move on to the next thing because there's people with hundreds of thousands and whatever millions of subscribers but at the same time i had to remind myself like a thousand subscribers is a lot like think about having a thousand people <laughs> sitting in front of you just watching you speak i happen to think that's amazing that's a, a big number so i just want to say thank you guys for you know supporting me every step of the way my consistency my shift is now going to start heading more towards youtube mainly because i feel like here i can grow a real community and a real family i just feel like on instagram and tiktok it's so fast-paced that you're only seeing a highlight reel of somebody's life it's like 10 15 20 second videos and you don't really get to know a person you're just people are just like stopping by kind of thing and that's not what i want long term long term i want you guys to be sorry cooper's over there going crazy long term i want a, a family like a, a community and i know i can get that here from youtube because if you're subscribing to me you're actually seeing my day-to-day -day life and you're actually getting to see who i am and what my personality is like but yeah that's pretty much it i just have to keep reminding myself to not focus on the things that i have yet to accomplish rather than see how far i've come see the the growth and where i'm at today um, and just stop like overthinking or trying to like speed up time I just feel like as soon the closer I'm getting to 30 that's why I feel like I'm just like in a rush like I feel like I need to get my life going kind of thing I just need to um, slow down focus on what I can do and control what I can control right I can only control the content that I put out there for you guys and yeah I just have to do that just do my part and the rest I know will come. So I'm gonna do a better job at daily vlogging and just showing you more of my day-to-day -day life because I love watching vlogs like that. And I think you guys will too, so.